Throughout the series, we've shown you how solar works, its benefits to the environment and your hip pocket, and how effective it is, especially here in Australia. But with over 200 manufacturers worldwide, choosing the right system can be a little daunting. But don't worry, whatever your situation, there is a system to meet your needs. And it all begins right here on your roof, where it's cheaper to install compared to on the land, which needs concrete footings and trenches. A roof-mounted system utilises your house as the structure to support the panels. The ideal roof should face true north to northwest with a 30 degree inclination. Now, few houses in Australia are built this way, but fear not, this doesn't mean you can't or shouldn't reap the benefits of solar power. So if your roof faces completely the wrong direction, say east, you'll lose less than 10% of the optimal performance. So you'll still generate more than enough power for your household needs and you'll still make money if connected to the grid. If your home is an energy guzzler, you'll still need more solar panels and ultimately roof space. This is where careful panel selection comes into play. Do you choose crystalline or amorphous panels? Australia is blessed with good weather and although different states have a variety of extremes, it all depends on how much roof space you have rather than how much sunshine you get. So if roof space isn't an issue, then the amorphous panel would be your first option as it tends to produce more energy as it gets hot. These cells are just like the ones that power a pocket calculator, only a lot bigger. They produce up to 25% more energy than crystalline in extreme heat. But remember, you'll need a lot of roof space. So what if you have a small roof? That's when you'll need the crystalline option. Mono-crystalline panels have been used for about 20 years and they take up less roof space than amorphous panels. Now poly or multi-crystalline panels is the brand new option and that'll soon be available in Australia. Taking about half the roof space of amorphous, a one square metre panel exposed to full sunlight will generate up to 125 watts of power, enough to power an efficient washing machine or fridge. But in high temperatures, the output can be reduced by up to 23%. Now available in Australia are the hybrid solar panels, which take advantage of both technologies. Third generation solar panels like the Kanaka or this one from Sanyo are more space efficient and operate at a maximum at any type of temperature situation. So don't worry if you're not completely sure which system is best for you, just remember there is a system that will help save you money. So do yourself and the environment a favour and contact Solar Shop Australia on 1300 Sun Power or just go to the Solar Shop website.